G'day folks, Tony again here for more Star Control 2. Now, dear viewers, we said that we needed to form a plan as to what we're going to do. I have a feeling that we're slowly starting to run out of time uh, here where it when it comes to uh, the advance of the Urquan, so we may have to try and get a move on. Now, you may recall we were just over here uh, fairly recently, and this thing here that looks like a giant uh, single green dot was in fact a, a large star with a bunch of, I think it was like six smaller stars around it in a very regular pattern. Uh, and that seems highly conspicuous to me, uh, which is why I'm curious as to whether or not there's perhaps something worth investigating there. So we're going to head on over and we will see what we can find. Uh, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. So we're in uh, late March of 2157. My understanding is that in the early months of 2159 uh, is when real bad things start happening. So we do have a little bit of time, but not a lot of time. Uh, we may have to start putting the pedal to the metal here. Uh, we have a number of things that feel like they're partially complete or half complete, but nothing really that feels like we've stuck the landing uh, and got it entirely done. So uh, going to try and take a slightly more focused approach we have a lot of spinning plates at the moment and uh it might be time to uh, start prioritizing and trying to get things done so i'm going to head over to this bit here because there's a there's a lot of stuff here that looks like there's something going on uh i wonder if this is a sly landro probe although it does seem to be moving too slow for that so something hostile or unknown Something unknown. Excellent. Uh, let's converse and see what's going on. Message from translation computer. Incoming message extremely unorthodox in composition. Translation includes many lingual best fits. For clarity, best fits are denoted by asterisk pairs. Overall accuracy of translation unknown. Message begins. Hello extremely. I hope you'd like to play some campers are not so good for games. It is time for playing yet? Uh, okay. Who are you? What can you tell us about yourselves? Who are you? You are not oars. We are oars. Oars are happy people energy from the outside. Inside is good. So much good that oars will always germinate. Can you come together with oars for parties? Uh, okay, right. Uh, maybe you could tell me why you are here. Here is bright and smooth. The other places hurt or is too much tired for keeping together. Other places frumple. Oars are here now, but almost not yet. Soon oars are really here. You are help oars with parties. Oars looking for you and find you so much joy. Now smooth place all the time. And after now, never going back to outside. Never. Uh, cool. Our charts show this as Andresynth space. Do you know what happened to them? Andresynth are not here. Oars are here. You are not the same too much like Andresynth. You are happy campers. Do you want to see our surprising toys? No, do not. Andresynth are so silly. We do not tell stories a lot about them. No more Andresynth stories. Uh, what happened? Damn it! What did you do to the Andresynth? I am squeezing the juice. You have become too close. You are sick for the last time. It is not enough for happy days, I am sure. More and more juice. Andresynth are not the story. Uh oh. Well, I guess that didn't go so well. Uh, and I do not know what the ore ships are like. So let's. Whoa! I guess that answers the question. Uh, 
Uh, we are in a world of hurt. Uh, good times with the oars. Whoa. Look at my amazing... Oh, they're auto-tracking. That's what that thing did. Handy. Uh, not that I really want to piss these folks off. We may, uh, we may have a reload incoming here, but, uh... Hmm. Ow. Take that, camper. Wow, look at that. One hit and it's all good. Um, so didn't exactly want to just destroy everyone, but uh, it looks like kind of our only option at the moment. Considering... Uh, there we go. <sighs> Considering they're a brand new species and we don't really know what was happening. Whoa, that's a lot of resource units, so uh, it would be nice to, uh, to not just be destroying a brand new race that we've met. Clearly they were not a fan of us... Uh, Pushing on the Andrescent, though. I'm assuming this is a Slylandro. Yep. We'll just get straight amongst it. Come on now. Got a present for you. Ah. Stop it. Okay. So perhaps what we might do is we'll zip around just a little bit more and see if we find the oars again and see if they're still cranky with us. Because if they are, uh, it may be time for a reload. So here they are again. Hmm. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's a bad deal. Uh, I tell you what, uh, dear viewers, we're going to do a reload and we'll be back here in just a moment. Uh, where I haven't completely uh, botched this up. Alrighty, this uh, may look familiar to you, dear viewers. Um, perhaps we're going to choose the other option uh, so that we don't make uh, the oars real mad. Ah, I am told other oars, cousins, you are connected for camping. I am so right. It is happiest days not to care about Andresynth anything. So now we can be together for friendly dessert. I am so right. I will tell them again. Uh, cool. I am Captain Clapton of the Starship Dank. We are having translation problems. Yes, of course. Difficulty. Problems are difficult. Let's be special together. Spicy games are always fun. Uh... You seem like friendly fellows. Perhaps you could aid us in our mission. Yes, yes, we are too friendly. Extremely happy sisters should correct each other for celebration. So much enjoyment. Shall we come to your house so that we can be relatives? Uh, ooh, do we have an opportunity? for an alliance. Let's try it. Uh, I presume you are talking about an alliance. Yes, we are very interested. Jumping peppers, this is smiley time. You are campers after all. We will start alliance parties for better enjoyment. You get make the heavy space all ships and use go go for the dancing. Uh, okay folks, I think, I think that we just got a new race in our alliance. Uh, happy times. Uh, I guess while we're here, we'll uh, we'll do some exploring of these systems and see what we can find. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, of course, the trick is getting into any of these stars without, uh, sorry, any of these planets without the ore ships just coming in and uh, harassing us when we don't really want a conversation. Uh, let's see how we go. No, leave me alone. Oh, you're all too friendly. All right. 
please. I hope that was worthwhile. All right. Some. Ah, good biologicals. That's what I like to see. Uh, trying to stock up as much as we can for those Melnorm. I have a feeling that we're going to be able to get... Uh, I have a feeling that we're going to be able to get a, a considerable amount of quest leads or story progression info from the Melnorm. We, we've been sort of prioritizing uh, tech upgrades from them so far. Uh, which is just as well because making the dank uh, kind of a war machine has been uh, has been the only thing that's allowed us to win most of the battles that we've had because the earthling cruisers are not particularly good against all sorts. Full load of biologicals there, that was good. Um, actually, while I think of it, we might just save the game. Uh, so that we don't have to go through any of that again. Because uh, twice is enough. Ah. Campers like to say hello when they smell the oars. We have learned this. It is no function, but oars want to make campers happy every day. Okay, hello. Now you are happy, I am sure. Uh, <laughs> nope. Nope, we're, uh, we're not going to do that one. Uh, I'm still not exactly clear on who you are, who you are and where you're from. You are a silly camper. I am always Oz. If I was not Oz, then I would not be, but of course I am Oz. We are from outside. Also the Aralu quick babies are from outside. It is the same, but not. Oz are from below. Aralu are from above. Oz does not like Arilu. Arilu are too much trouble. We cannot have parties when Arilu always jumping in front. It makes Oz frumple so much. Happy campers, not going to heavy space slide near Chandrasekhar. Aha. Uh -huh. Especially not ever. These are fat words. Do you want to place this some more? Um, okay, so Chandrasekhar... Uh, as I'm sure you're aware, is one of the star systems here uh, in the game, also named after a very famous astrophysicist. So I'm assuming, yes, I am only joke. It is funny enough. Do not forget to enjoy the source. Absolutely. If I can also avoid all the rest of your ships, that would be nice. Ah, uh, so yeah, Chandrasekhar, named after a famous uh, astrophysicist, but also, oh no. So yeah. Please stop. Oops, I accidentally clicked on the wrong button and I didn't read any of that. Which is fortunate because I think I asked them about the Androsynth again. Ha ha ha. Alright, let's try and escape. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Please stop. I just want to harvest all the res all the resources. That's all I want. Uh, so yes, Chandrasekhar star system here. They're saying that the Arilu are there, so that might be another thing for us to check out at some point. Please be a treasure planet. Yeah, could be worse. Uh, class 8 tectonics. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Let's, uh, see how bad it is. Holy smokes. That's terrifying. But fortunately, we have all of our upgrades. So I think we're good. Oh, that's insane. I love it. Thank heavens for that shielding, huh? Uh, it's too much fun to not try grabbing all the rest of them now. Dum, 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 dum. I'm assuming the green ones are worth a reasonable amount. Uh, we'll check that in a moment. And see just how... Uh, 
We'll see just how worthwhile that was. Eh, greens are sort of in the middle. They're worth five each. That was definitely a worthwhile time. Let's continue trying to explore things. So the ores uh, being from outside, I'm assuming means that they're from a different plane of space or, or something similar. Um, the Arilu, uh, who I don't think we've met or heard mentioned before uh, in this game, uh, sorry, in this playthrough, uh, one of their abilities is uh, to sort of jump in and out of, of, uh, of space. So uh, that does make sense from a lore point of view. And as, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, lore is the most important thing to me. That's uh, a little bit of a joke there. Um, all right. So depending on how many resources we get here and depending on how we're going for uh, biologicals and being able to trade with the Melnorm, I think it might be time for us to drop at least one of our cargo pods down. Um, because I think we are getting to the point where we're not going to have to buy as many things. I'm pretty sure there aren't going to be all that many more upgrades uh, that we need for the ship. Because it feels like we're a fair way along in terms of uh, of getting new module tech from the uh, from the Melnorm. Well, I do think wasn't there something about a Shiva furnace that might be the next thing that we're about to buy from them. It's an awkward zoom level here. It means we might end up accidentally getting intercepted, or I'll just entirely miss something. Oh, come on. Far too concerned about not having a ship come straight into me. All right. They don't seem to be trying to intercept me as much now, which is nice. Xenolithic world. Some pleasant looking treasure dots there. So we'll definitely grab them. Probably be able to leave the rest of them as is. Platinum. Mm, yum. Good times. <coughs> Please excuse the coughing. I'm still uh, a little bit under the weather. All right. So a gas giant and some moons. Even more time where we have to try and maneuver around these pesky NPC ships. Selenic. Not often having anything worthwhile. Could this be a treasure moon? I sure hope it's a treasure moon. It is not. It's the opposite. Ooh, biologicals. I am pleased again. A bunch of them moving around and they're all fast movers. Oh, most of them are fast movers. Not really a fan. Still going to grab all the things. Get them, get them. Get all of them. Come back here. Yay. Can only imagine what this experience would be like for the uh, for the folks on the vessel. There's just lightning and earthquakes constantly, and a variety of uh, a variety of alien critters fleeing from a vehicle that's shooting laser beams at them. Delightful. So it looks like we're getting a reasonable number of units here. Uh, there is uh, the Z-Man system nearby for us to go straight back to the Melnorm as well, so that's that's handy. Um, actually, I wonder if these are 
I'm not sure if these are base level materials, certainly with things like ammonia. I don't imagine that uh, that those are the cheapest of, uh, of resources. So I guess while we're here, we'll, uh, we'll pick them up. All right. Uh, it's possibly worth noting as well, uh, dear viewers, that if I am a, a little slow, if there's long pauses and I'm a bit flat at the moment, I've been somewhat under the weather. So uh, perhaps just occasionally zoning out a little bit while I'm zipping around, uh, explodinating things. Okay, so we haven't been to the green moon yet. We haven't been to the other grey moon yet. Alkalis. That's not looking terribly great. But more biologicals. Absolutely. We want all those Melnorm upgrades and all of their... Uh, whoa. That's crazy. Look at this stuff. Never seen anything like that before. Slow moving and very hostile and very hard to kill. Interesting. It's actually far easier to shoot uh, than some of the others. Fortunately, these things have quite a large uh, profile and quite a large hitbox. Well, that was a different one, but seemingly just as hostile. And we did it. That was fun times. Um, So I wonder how many biological units we have now. We haven't found any rainbow worlds yet. Uh, so we are really just reliant on these biologicals to, uh, to give us the money that we need. Certainly uh, less focused on the... Uh, oh no. Whew, that was close. Becoming less and less focused on the resource gathering. Unless, of course, you find a treasure world, in which case, just take all the things. Now, if this also has biologicals on it, that would be perfect. Ah, uh, it was too much to ask. Very well. I guess we'll just pick up all of this treasure. Mmm, gold, silver, platinum, and others. So I'm assuming from the shield uh, icons that are over there uh, below the the ship crew readout, there are four of them and it seems to be taking up all the UI space. So I'm imagining that we don't get any uh, other upgrades for our landing vehicles. Uh, we'll just run out of space. And I'd also imagine uh, if it is the, the Shiva furnace, is the next thing that uh, that we're going to grab, uh, presumably to help recharge the Hellbore cannons faster. Uh, that would also seem to be pretty close to the end of a, an upgrade tree. And that means uh, that if we're only buying Intel, I believe that the, uh, the rate that the mill norm charge for those things is, is less than for the upgrades themselves. So we might be able to hoof through them uh, at a reasonable rate as well. Purple World, just doing a bang up job there, Purple World, well done. Let's see if we can avoid these ones. Swirling around in a, in a merry chain. Green World, that's a bit better. Thanks, Green World. Ah, doubling down on the on the greenness there, I see. What are these things and how do they move? Slowish. Wow, that's uh that's another new looking one. Moderately hostile, but not overly so. And fairly straightforward to kill. So my understanding that the value of these things is purely based on 
how many units they take up rather than their rarity or novelty. Um, so perhaps not a giant hall there, but still better than nothing. Let's try and avoid them. That was good. Ah, too cautious. Oversteering everywhere. Radioactive worlds. Covered with delicious radioactives. And I was hoping for radioactive biologicals, but alas, it was not to be. Thorium? Are there perhaps dwarves lurking around here somewhere as well? Uh, these dots are somewhat challenging to see, depending on which part of the map you're on. That's better. Part of that could also be my aging eyes. Alright. Done. What a good haul. I think that might be all the planets now. Ah! <laughs> oh no, leave me alone. I am expanding. It is so much squishy to smell you. Campers are the best. I have anticipation. And then what? Better parties in the middle, for sure. Uh, sh yep. Great. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I could talk all day, but I really must go. Uh, uh, yep, I will enjoy the sauce. Don't, uh, don't be concerned. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Thanks, Oz. I think we got everything, so that's good. Uh-oh. Wow. Uh. Come on now. Surely that's enough. Good grief. All right. So now the question, should we go clockwise or counterclockwise? I think we're going to go clockwise. Let's just see if this is a slow andro. Sounds like it. I'll happily take some more resource units. Let's do it. Bring it on. You are very fortunate that that asteroid was there. I hope you're aware of that. Ah ha ha. Oh, come on. Finally. We're losing a lot more crew there than uh, than we had intended, but that's all right. Clockwise, because that's how the brain works. So we're going to do that. Oh, boy. More oars dodging. I love it. Uh, but good news is we don't have to do that right now. We can do it later because that's all the time we have for this part of the Let's Play. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be notified when other episodes are released. And please tell a friend if you think they might enjoy this. And come back again soon for more Star Control 2.